Hello people and welcome to part 2 of this video series which I just decided to title Defending the Kings for obvious reasons and um, that's all I have to say about that let's get right into the commentary get a nice BS on this guy because he leaves his back wide open while we're talking about this guy I don't understand why he's wasting a ring slot on the slumbering dragon crest because we're already engaged in combat I guess the answer to my question is because he's a scrub. That's why he's fat rolling and healing. So I just kind of double BS him and finish him off with that R1. And give you the point down because why? 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 This guy takes a flamberge. I thought I was going to get a BS on him, but he's too cool with the Shiva shield. So I just kind of circle BS couple seconds later. As you can see I now got my black flame just pretty tight. I don't know if it does less damage than great combustion but it does more damage to the stamina. But I like to think that it does the same amount of damage and it just does more stamina damage so I just... Also because black flame is cool because I'm a Naruto fan and I like a uh, the Uchi has capacity for what is it again? Amaterasu. This guy does not have luck on his side because I kind of sneak up on him and give him the BS before he realizes. I think, like obviously he got the message that I'm in his world, <laughs> but then he didn't really react when I ran up behind him and backstabbed him. Looks like he's a bleed build, but I can see he has no poise, so I just kind of keep the pressure on him, especially with my other Dark Wraith buddy in here. And good night. Desert 3000. Oh, this is one of my favorite fights in this entire video series. It's just so pretty how I finish these guys. They back off into the corner like fools. So I'm like, chaos time. <laughs> This is why they call it Chaos Pyromancy, by the way. <laughs> it's because of this fight. <laughs> Boom. GG. <laughs> Thanks for playing. Again, in the same room fighting this guy again. I guess he decided to switch up to the Eagle Shield this time. BS's me at that weird angle. Luckily, he still hasn't finished off the Dark Wraith buddy. Didn't learn his lesson. Oh, he's got a couple bodies over here, but there's still one living, buddy. You're late. Ooh, he thinks he's got me? No, because he just kind of backs off. I don't even want to heal, though, so I decide it's time for a ranged battle. Right here, I don't, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't understand how he just walks through my chaos, like NBD, takes no damage, so, uh, get BS'd again. I don't know, okay, this fight's pretty, um, pretty interesting. It's always fun to fight some gankers alone. I get his phantom. I should have got a BS off right there. But I thought I was going to get a parry, but apparently I'm not even parrying clubs lately. <laughs> Large clubs, at least. Um, oh, if I wouldn't have... If I would have just, like... I don't know. If I wouldn't have rolled, I could have got a BS easily on that host. But I got another one, so whatever. God, his phantom's getting annoying, and the host goes to heal, so I know this fight isn't going to be fun. Unfortunately, I can't switch out to Hornet Ring, because my rings right now are um, Havels and Rofap, so if I take either off, it's not going to... It's going to mean no more fast rolling for Zack. <laughs> 